She ate it. Let's go. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. There we go. Oh, my. no way, bro. We have this $15 budget fishing kit that we're gonna be fishing with today. I know it says $20 here, but when I went to check out, it was actually only 15. I don't know if it was discounted or what happened. In the last fishing kit video, we actually fished with this Strike King one and it had a wide variety of different soft plastics and we ended up catching our first fish of the year on top water and you guys loved it. So I went back, bought another one and this one's a lot different than the Strike King one. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up dive into it see what's inside and attempt to catch a fish on every single bait in this box before we get deeper into this video only 27 percent of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed so if you could take the time hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel i'd appreciate it our first impression when we open the box there's a lot of senkos man <laughs> there is so many senkos in this box and i'm gonna be honest when i bought this thing i wasn't paying attention until about five minutes ago and I was like, oh my gosh, almost every single bait in this box is a Senko. But let's go ahead and go down the line. We got a green pumpkin Senko. We have what looks like a watermelon with a white back Senko. This color is looking saucy, boys. We got a little bit of blue sparkle on top, a little bit of kicking green on the bottom. We got a black and silver Senko. And then over here on this side, we have a watermelon red smaller Senko. We have a black and blue smaller Senko. And this is where it gets interesting. We have a black and blue crawl, which I'm excited for. They have been munching the crawls recently. And then we have what looks to be a red and orange crawl with some black and purple flake. So that is all the baits inside of this box. And you guys are probably wondering, Noah, it's pretty much all Senkos. Yes, it is all Senkos, but we're going to do something to add a little twist on today's video. We're going to be using at least three different rigs to catch fish on these Sankos. So we're not just gonna be Texas rigging every single one of these. We might go weightless, we might go wacky rig, we might go a Ned rig with some of these smaller Sankos. We're gonna be trying to rig these baits in a lot of different ways. So we got two different combos out with us today. We have the Kickin' Their Bass TV, x Baitcaster, Bait Caster, and Spinning Combo out with us. If you guys wanna check these out, it's springtime guys, the fishing has been hot. If you guys wanna check them out, kickintheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below. So with the other ways that we can rig these baits, the one obstacle that we have is I don't have a wide variety of hooks. So let's go ahead and dive into this. We have a lot of extra wide gap hooks in here and we have some bullet weights, obviously, your basic Texas rig. Another way to rig this bait would be wacky rig. But the only problem is we don't have any wacky rig hooks. So we could use the extra wide gap to wacky rig it. And then we also have a little Ned head and we can throw that smaller Senko on the net head and catch some fish on there. And then we could also throw the Senko weightless on an extra wide gap. So we have so many different ways we can rig these baits. It's just deciding the first option that we want to do. And to be honest, guys, I'm kind of feeling this net head right here. So we're going to take this watermelon red Senko and rig it up here on this net head. Boom, baby. I messed her up just a little bit. Just a little bit, but that's perfect, man. Look at that puppy right there, guys. That is gonna get some bites. And with this being a very light bait, I'm actually gonna throw this on my spinning combo here. The pond that we're out at right now has some very clear water. It is dang near crystal clear. We haven't fished any crystal clear ponds this spring, so I'm hoping we can find some of these bass on bed. But the only problem is we had a cold front last night. And I don't know how these fish are going to react to that. One could only hope that the fish are still going to bite really well. But there's part of me that says these fish could be shut down a little bit. All right, so we got our tackle box with us. I also brought out a scale because, guys, it's the springtime. And it would not surprise me if we catch an absolute lunker today. We're just going to set these down right here. And as you guys can tell, this water is very clear in here. I'm talking one of the clearest ponds that I fish. And the first thing that we're gonna do here is kind of walk around for a second and see if we can see any of these bass pushed up super shallow on bed. Well, there's a turtle on the bottom right there. That is not a bass. I saw something swim and I'm like, what is that? It's a dang turtle. So one thing to look for guys when you're targeting these bed fish is to really hone in on that tail on the bass. You know, it's got a lot of black on it. And it can be easy to see in this water. 
It's a good bit of wind out today. It's crazy because the last fishing kit video is windy as heck too. And uh, that's one obstacle in our way today. It's hard to see in the wind. All right, boys, we haven't seen a fish yet. That cold front might have pushed all these bass off the bank. I was hoping that wasn't the case. All I've seen is a couple baby bass here and there and some turtle. Dude, that's a big one right there. That's a big one right there. Oh, he's going over to it. Come on. Oh, man. He was right up in this grass, guys. That's the one thing fishing clear water, guys. That big fish saw us and it was done from there. He was interested at first until I reeled it in. And this water is a little more stained than what it usually is. It's usually crystal, like gin clear. All right, we're going to walk to the other end. It's just not happening right here. There's a bass on bed right there, dude. We sighted our first bed bass today, boys. He is sitting right on that bed. Still sitting there. Oh, he got super spooky. She 100% knows I'm fishing for. Her. Fish is smart. Oh, I had a freaking dude. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way. That was my first bite of the day, guys. I thought I had grass. That was literally a fish. All right, boys and girls, we're walking over to this side. That construction works just so loud. It's about to drive me crazy. And I don't want to drive you all crazy with it. I'll tell you guys, these fish, at least in this pond, they're pulled off, man. Either that or they're just about done bedding. That's another possibility. I mean, I know we saw that one fish bedding, but they could be done in this pond or getting to it at least. Oh, oh, there's a fish right there coming over to my bait. Oh my gosh, dude, he's about to eat it. Please eat it, please eat it. Dude, it's a good one too. Oh my God, he's nose, he ate it. There we go. Let's go, baby. Oh, it's a good fish. Our first one of the day on the Ned Senko. And we just sight fish that puppy. Come on, baby. Dude, she acted like she wasn't going to eat it and be finicky like the other ones. And then all of a sudden I popped it one hard time and she freaking smoked it, man. Let's go, baby. Oh my gosh, she ate that thing far too. She wanted it. After fighting the wind, fighting the construction sound, fighting the cold front, we were able to get our first fish of the day. And there's another one right there. Holy cow. That is a good two and a half, two to three quarter pounder. And that's a two pounder that could hit three pounds. That's crazy. Thank you, baby. Yeah, that one just swam off now. Wow. Dude, I threw right there. I was hopping my bait. I could see it. And this fish just came out of that tree, got all interested. Then she looked like she wasn't going to eat it. I popped it one hard time and she just attacked. All right, boys. Well, Ned Rig, Watermelon Red Sanko knocked off a list. Let's go ahead and go back to the tackle box. And to be honest, guys, I think I'm going to pack up my stuff and head to a different pond. That noise from the construction and also the wind is killing me over here. So let's go ahead and uh, pack everything up and go on to our next spot. Guys, we got an issue. I cannot find. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to change my mind here, guys. I know we said we're going to go to a new spot. But that fish is literally locked on bed right there. And I think we should fish forward for another second. I wanted to put one of the bigger Senkos on. But since we already have the Ned rig, and we just want to throw a few flips on this fish. We're gonna actually go with, for our second bait of choice, the other smaller Senko, but in black and blue. So small Senko number one and watermelon red is complete. And we're gonna see if we can knock this one out here too. All right, there we go, boys. And that's Senko number two. Let's get it. That fish is still sitting right on that bed. I would just love to catch a straight sight fish bed fish today. I know we just caught that other one sight fishing, but this one just seems too active. She's about to eat it. She's about to eat it. She ate it. She ate it. She ate it. Let's go, baby. Come on. Gut feeling. Stick around. The fish for this. Oh, she came off. Ah, uh, no. Speaking too early, man. Gosh dang it, boys. We freaking had her. There was nothing stopping us from that and that fish unless it came off. 
and she was just not hooked good enough. That was my first flip on there. I worked it in super slow, was, was trying to play really aggressive with her and just kind of keep that worm on her hot spot of the bed. And she finally decided to eat it. I just did not get a good hook in her. Well, that fish isn't gonna bite anytime soon. Let's walk over here and make a few casts before we leave. Big flat right there. That looks muddy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dude, there's a fish right there. Oh, she's running away. She might come back here. I can see her shadow right there. She's just hovering. Oh, she's coming up to the bait. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, this is it, baby. Come on, bait number two. Oh yeah, here she comes. She's about to eat it. There we go. Oh, okay. All right, baby. Stay pin. Stay pin for me. Let's go, son. This is not a big one, but I'll tell you, any day that we can sight fish these bass is just so much fun, man. Right in the top of her mouth right there. And she smoked that thing. She was aggressive. Get a little uh, one and a half to two pounder. Oh, oh. she want to get back quick, man. There we go, baby. Second bait knocked off the list. All right, boys. And that's it for this pond. Let's keep it rolling. I'm ready to see a seven, eight pounder. All right, boys and girls. We are at a new spot. I'm excited. The wind don't seem too bad. And we got a couple changes that we're going to make. So let's go ahead and go over what just happened. We put on a Ned rig, ended up knocking out the smaller natural color and the smaller dirty water color. Now we have two crawls to choose from and we also have four different Sankos that we have to knock off the list too. Being realistic here, this is a pretty clear water pond. This color is looking saucy, boys. Got a little bit of kicking green on the bottom, got a little bit of blue on top, right? We're actually gonna rock this thing and we're just gonna put it on a basic Texas rig. With that being said, we're going to retire the spinning rod for the moment and tie this up on our bait caster. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I am hoping these fish are on bed in here, guys, because if they are, we might be able to find a couple really big ones. And then after this pond, we're gonna go to a pretty big lake. I think we'll be able to hook some really, really large fish. We might even have an opportunity of hooking an eight to nine pounder today. And here, I think we can do it. The biggest I've caught is six pounds, but there's some big ones in here too. We're just rigging it up on a basic Texas rig. Nothing crazy, clean and simple. Quarter ounce tungsten bullet weight on a three aught extra wide gap hook. Let's go ahead and get it started. Oh yeah, guys, this is looking good. You know, in the springtime, one thing is I don't like to walk up on these banks really aggressively. I like to stay a little far from them and just work up and make sure that I'm not gonna spook any fish. You know, there could be a big old bass on bed right here. And the last thing we want to do is walk right up on him and scare him. If you can find a fish before he sees you, he'll be a lot more aggressive. And I don't really see any fish up on this bank. So what we're going to do is just start flipping out here. You got a bunch of trees in this corner and you have some lay downs right out here with a mixture of grass. So we're just going to flip out there and make a few casts here and there and uh, see if we can get bit blindly. Oh my gosh, a big one. There's two, there's two. He's going right after, oh no. Dude, they were right up under this grass, bro. Dude, they're so big. I don't know if you guys can see them. One of them has a black, he, his whole head's black, dude. Oh my gosh, his, his whole half of his body is completely black and the other half just looks like a normal pattern on a bass. Dude, if I can catch this fish, I want you guys to see this, man. He's so spooky too. Gosh, they were right up under this grass here. I couldn't even see them. And they don't seem interested either. They seem more spooky than interested. That doesn't mean we can't catch them. I would love for you guys to see that bass. That was one of the most unique looking bass I have ever seen. His whole face was just pitch black. There's a bass bedding right there. I just saw him swim off that bank. So there's a couple rock spots right here. I'll throw our bait up there. Let's see what we see. I'm going to stay way far off of this. Oh, he's, he's right up on it. He just ate it. He just ate it. Let's go, baby. Good bass. 
Oh, I'm sorry, baby. No, 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 don't flap. I'll get you back in. I promise, I promise, I promise. So, you know, pulling up to this pond, guys, we were talking about staying way off the bank. I walked up here, or I was staying way off, and I happened to see this bass's tail. We talked about that earlier, too, is looking for that black tail. Threw right up there. She didn't see us and didn't hesitate to eat that. And look at that bass's tail, man. Got a little stub, stubby tail on her a pretty two and a half pounder right there that's her bed right here on these rocks and i'll tell you that is not the only fish over here but let's go man that's three baits knocked off the list just got the uh colorful senko hatched away and got that beautiful fish on it thank you baby there she goes heck yeah boys we are just sight fishing today man i like what i saw over here a little more than where we started those fish were just finicky all right, let's go to the drawing board and see what we got next. So a little overview, the kicking green Sanko baby came in clutch, knocked off the list. Now I want to knock out this other clear, clear water color right here, man. I want to knock her out because this next spot that we're going to hit after this, I think the water might be a little stained, man. So I'm trying to fish with the colors that I would catch fish in clear water before we get out there. And we're just gonna rig this thing up on the Texas rig. I had a whole idea of throwing it weightless, but to be honest with y'all, the Texas rig worked and we caught a fish on bed. So with everything being said, we have three baits out of the eight knocked off the list and we're still moving. This spot looks so good, man. Totally see a fish sitting right there, right in front of those lay downs. Got some more isolated trees off the bank. Looks like a prime spot. Dude, that is the biggest patch of beds I've ever seen way out there. Almost looks like there's a shadow on it. Might get lucky there. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Way out there on that bed. And I don't think she's as big as we thought. But a dang good one, man beautiful fish right there guys that is our first fish that we target on a bed way off the bank another good two and a half pounder and this one's beautiful man straight up brute oh my goodness you might be three pounds you're so fat that is a high two pounder in a two pound body that could almost be three pounds man and beautiful colors on that fish Pretty greens up top, beautiful lateral line. That is one of the prettiest bass that we've caught all year, man. Wow, what a brute. And uh, I thought I saw a little shadow on that bed way out there. And sure enough, she bit it, man. Oh my goodness, we are having a ball out here today, guys. Catching some beautiful, very healthy fish. We haven't caught any monsters yet, but the size is not disappointing. Thank you, baby. There she goes. That is a brute, man. Oh my goodness, I felt her pick it up. I couldn't believe it. We are steamrolling in this pond, boys. Well, that's two big Senkos knocked off the list and two small Senkos knocked off the list. Remaining, we have half the baits. We got four done. We have four more. We have two crawls and we got two Senkos. And to be honest with y'all, I'm gonna go with one more Senko. And then after this, we're switching up to the crawls. I'm saving the best for last, baby. You guys know me with a with a crawl bait i just love it and our ratio for senkos to crawls in this puppy ain't much man we got six senkos to two crawls but we're gonna go with this green pumpkin it's a good natural color it's the best natural color that money can buy right there baby all right guys we're gonna keep on moving there's one more back corner in this pond we're gonna go hit it could be nasty all right this corner's looking spicy boys looking juicy we we'll throw a few casts right here, see if we can see anything. And then we're gonna walk out to that dock. Ooh, big boil. Oh gosh, is he on me? Dude, he's right on. Oh, oh dude, he's right on my bait. He's chasing it right now. Dude, he's trying to get it out of the grass. He just ate it. Gonna hook the freaking stick, dude. Oh my gosh. They're both right there though. They're both right here. See, I need to take I need to take this freaking weight off, bro. I'm not gonna lie. 
We would have caught that fish if we were weightless. We would have caught two fish, maybe even three. They were turned up, man. They didn't see me at all. And we told we told you that we're gonna, you know, throw different rigs, so we needed to do this anyways. We just cut our bullet weight off. Retie this hook right back on. We should get eaten here. And these fish are plump, man. One of them was about, I'd say four to five pounds. The other ones were like two and a half to three pounds. They're still really good fish. Now we're about to throw a weightless Texas. All right, we're gonna walk up really slow here. Kind of looking at the base of the dock. Make sure I don't see nothing too crazy. We see a fish there. We'll slow down and cast. So once we put our foot on this dock right here, it's going to put a little bit of vibration in the water. Dude, this water is so... Oh, this guy eating. Oh, oh, he spit it up. He's coming up for it. Oh, dude. That right there, I'm pretty sure he saw me. That's a decent... Oh, there's a monster, guys. That was a small one trying to come after us. That's every bit of a five pounder with him. The female is huge, dude. She is right here. She might eat it on the fall. Oh. She ate it. Let's go. Oh. That is so cool, guys. Little male bass. I don't know where that big one went, man, but we need to keep an eye out for her because she was massive. Let's go, boys. What a sight! What a day of sight fishing. We've been catching a ton of bed fish these last few weeks, but today has been nothing but sight fishing in these clear water ponds. We've been fishing a lot of dirty water, and that is just a pretty fish right there. Thank you so much, baby. Golly, boys, we were having a ball today. There he goes. You know, guys, I was wanting to hit that dirty water pond, but this pond, with it being so clear, it, it's just, I don't know, I'm having way too much fun right now. And I kind of want to tie on one of these crawls now. So let's go ahead and go through what we've used and what we haven't. So we got the two small Sankos knocked off the list. We now have the green pumpkin Sanko knocked off, the white and green pumpkin, and then the kick in green and blue knocked off. The only Senko we have left is the black and silver flake. But I think it's time to whip out the crawls, guys. I'm excited about it. We have a dark, dirty water color here, black and blue. And then we have this reddish orange color. And that's what I think we're going to use here. But first, we need to tie back on our weight so we can throw our normal Texas rig. And we can officially say that we caught some Senko fish on a normal Texas rig with a weight. We caught a fish weightless right there, Texas rig style. And we caught him on the Ned rig. We've done just about everything that we can do with that Senko today, which is just sick. The only other ways that we could catch him on those, which obviously we only have one, one other bait, so we're not gonna get to do it, would have been a wacky rig and also a drop shot. For the drop shot, we would have definitely wanted to use one of the smaller ones. All right, boys, we got our Texas rig rigged up. Now, for our crawl, I've been waiting on this moment all day. I know you guys have been too. I'm kind of tired of fishing with a Sanko, man. <laughs> I did not expect this fishing kit to only have Sankos and then like two curls. So I thought it was going to have like a wide variety. I'm definitely a fan of the Strike King one a little more. It just had such a mixture of everything. But now we're moving on to the red and orange crawl with a little bit of purple flake, baby. We should get smoked on this thing. So I'll tell you guys, what's crazy about throwing a crawl on a Texas rig is you can reel this thing, you can work it on the bottom, you can reel it at the top like a top water. And that shade line over there looks so good. I'm just kind of fan casting it, reeling it at the top. That would be insane to get a top water blow up. Oh, oh, oh my heart's racing, bro. Oh, he's right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, I looked away for two seconds and I just heard the nastiest freaking blow up. That got me feeling spicy, boy. Oh my gosh. He still acted interested, too. Even after that blow up, he missed it completely somehow. Oh my gosh. I've been dying to throw a crawl all day. I start throwing it like a topwater and get destroyed. I think it's time for a topwater episode, man. The bed fishing's just been so good. It's been hard for me to not bed fish recently but it, it is time for a top water video for y'all
That looks like a bed I just landed on. Right there in the middle. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one today. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. Let's go. Gosh, right out there in the middle, man. Just bedding right out there. Our biggest fish today is going to come on the crawl. Look at that. Our biggest fish so far. Oh, that's a nice fish right there. Come here, baby. Oh, that's a hefty one. That's a three pounder. Three pounder and a two pounder body. And beautiful. I mean, just look at the colors on these fish, man. Just a straight brute, super thick and healthy. She smoked that crawl, man. I threw it out there to reel it like a top water. And I, and I saw that little reflection on the bottom. I was like, oh, that looks like a bed. Let me just let it sink. And sure enough, she smoked it, man. She smoked it. That's a good close to three pound fish right there. Thank you, baby. I will say we haven't had any over four, you know, to five pounds, even, even bigger than that. But all the fish we've caught today, other than like one, have been really good fish. I mean, just fat, healthy, pretty bass. All right, now that leaves us with two final baits, boys. We have the black and silver Sanko and the black and blue crawl, baby. And what we're gonna do, I know I could keep catching them here, guys, but I've been talking about that lake all day. And there's a spot on the bank that I really wanna try that has some cypress trees, and we might be able to catch a large fish there. So we're gonna go ahead and go over there and, uh, See if we can get us one over five pounds. All right, boys, we got bait number seven on and we're using the black and blue crawl. Out of all the baits in the box, I would have to say, this is probably my favorite. And after we knock this one off, we only have one more bait. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I feel like we could catch a really big fish in this lake right here. These were some of the cypress trees I was wanting to pull up to and hit. I feel like cypress trees are great spots for bass to bed up on. And there's a couple isolated patches of cypress trees up and down this bank. So we're just gonna patiently fish these things. See if we can get a big bass to bite. I'm ready to see one over five pounds. We were catching fish bedding in this lake about two months ago. There could be another wave of fish that pulled up. Oh my goodness. Dude, I just reeled it right past that grass patch and one came out and ate it. It just didn't have it all the way. Dude, that's crazy. I can't believe it didn't eat it. Like fully. It looked like from my perspective that I ate it. All right, if there's bass bedding anywhere in this place, it's right here. Look at how much, I don't know if you guys can see that. There is four tilapia on bed. One right there, one right there, one right there, one right there. And another one right there. And you could see how deep they dig those holes. I can't believe that, dude. Look at all this. I don't know if you guys can see those things. There's two bedding right there. And there's a bass right here, bro. Oh my. No way, bro. Oh my gosh. Our smallest fish of the day. And he ate it so aggressive. I didn't think he was going to eat it that quick because I thought he saw me. I flipped it right in there, guys. And that is our black and blue crawl done. Oh my gosh, we might have found the best. All right, boys, well, that knocks off the black and blue crawl. Our favorite bait of the day caught the smallest fish. That's crazy. Well, we have one more bait in the tackle box, and this is the black and silver Sanko. And this completes the whole tackle box challenge once we get a bite on this thing. Usually there's a lot of bass in this area, but maybe because of the tilapia, they're just not around them. This tilapia are bad for the bass population too because if those bass are bedding, sometimes when it, when those tilapia want to bed, they'll pull up and they'll take over that bass's bed whether he's done bedding or not. I mean, it's honestly really bad for the population. All right, boys, I feel this pond. I see some beds here. And it looks like there's one on bed right there. That's a dark tilapia, bro. Holy cow, what's going on around right here? Dude, whatever fish that was just went right up to my bait. Tilapia. 
I think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw a tilapia, but I think that was a bass chasing me out. Hold on. We might be on to something here. Oh yeah, that's a bass. Yeah, he's looking at it. He just ate it. Let's go, baby. It's a good one too. Let's go. Good old fat bass, baby. This tilapia ain't holding us back. They are not holding us back. Oh my goodness. They're actually a lot smaller than I thought. <laughs> she dang near jumped on the bank, dude. Oh my goodness. Good little two pounder, baby. I thought you were at least a two and a half. But there we go, boys. And I'll tell you right there, that is fish number eight on bait number eight. And we completed the $15 Fishing kit tackle box, budget challenge, son.